All right, so before we go into showing you guys how to find a good supplier on Alibaba, I need everybody to understand the difference between a trading company and a manufacturer. So we're gonna explain that in this video. So we're gonna describe how, like a scenario where you might actually wanna use a trading company, but most of the time you're gonna want a manufacturer. So we'll tell the differences when you would wanna use one or the other and how you identify a trading company and how you identify a manufacturer. So what is a trading company and what is a manufacturer? Well, a manufacturer is somebody who's going to assemble and create this product for you. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Whereas a trading company, it, it, they're like a middleman, okay? So if you know what drop shipping is, a drop shipper will just, they'll find, they'll do the marketing, they'll make the listing and uh, they'll handle the customer service and all of that. And then they find somebody to ship it for them, okay? And so that is what a trading company is. So there are different types of trading companies where there's some where they'll literally just sell off the shelf products with from manufacturers. And then there are ones that will be kind of like your agent where they will work with that manufacturer. So let's say you want to customize like I talk about doing, uh, they will go and uh, do that. they will be your liaison or whatever, but that's not always good. You ever played the game telephone? Things get lost in translation. So not only do we have you trying to communicate with this trading company who is then translating and you know, they, they're probably native Chinese speakers. So, or they're probably native Mandarin speakers. So they're uh, already losing the translation there and then back and forth. You're gonna have even more difficult you're gonna have really difficult communication lines if you, especially if you wanna get a lot of customization done. And then now you don't have uh, that direct relationship with the supplier. So if something goes wrong or you need something rushed, you don't have that equity with them and that relationship. And uh, in doing business in China, it's about building relationships because contracts are useless. Uh, they're not really enforced if you're in the US and <coughs> it's a Chinese company. Even Chinese company, the Chinese company, they don't necessarily enforce contracts. Uh, laws are different there. So it's all about building that trust. And then here's the other thing. The trading company is going to, the trading company is going to take a cut. You know, they got to make money somehow. So that is uh, what a trading company is and, and probably why you don't want to use it. But why would you want to use a trading company? So let's say you're building a bundle, okay? And you find you just want some high quality products, several of them, and you go put them together in a uh, package form that uh, nobody else is offering. Okay, understandable. Now, that trading company is, if, if it is a well selling product, they have purchasing power in relationships with the manufacturer. So, a manufacturer is going to charge a lower price if they're guaranteed a lot of volume, you know, just basic economics. So, you might be able to actually get a better price if you're buying something that's not really customized uh, if you're going with a trading partner. Now, like I said, though, you don't don't buy and just put a label on something. That is a bad plan. That is a plan for disaster in 2018, even 2017, and, and uh, any time after. So don't do that. But um, I actually, for my goggles, we needed frames, and then I imported lenses from a different country in the world, and uh, then we assembled and then made our, uh, we did additional stuff too. And uh, then we made the packaging. So I gathered like bits and pieces from all around the world. And to make, and because essentially I couldn't get everything all together in one place and made in time. So we actually just needed pre-made parts. And one thing that was cool was with the trading company, they were actually had them on hand. So it was such a high moving item that they they were stocking it because they knew they would sell them. So I was able to get a, literally in four days, four day lead time on my product in an air, I would get it in my house in three days. So I would order and then seven days later, I would have the product at my house ready to go. Now you're going to, with a manufacturer, they are not going to have product right away. Uh, and even some trading companies, most of them aren't going to, but there are, the, this is that fringe case that I'm talking about where it was actually in my benefit to be, I couldn't have made and the success that I had without using a trading company that pre had this inventory and had this great relationship because 
let me tell you, I couldn't, I couldn't build out this relationship to get, you know, so sometimes they didn't have that on stock from the supplier because I bought up all their supply, but they had that relationship built up and they were saying, Hey, we need this. I need this order now. And he used his relationship and all this purchasing power and leverage to get that to happen. I couldn't have done that. Now, uh, you could use a sourcing agent, which we talk about later, but that, that that's going to be more advanced. But your trading company is going to be kind of like a, they're, they're, they're essentially a sourcing agent. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're a sourcing agent. But um, you just got to understand what you're dealing with. And um, yeah, it's, uh, a trading company is probably just one guy in an office or several. Uh, they're, sometimes they're they're rather large, though. I've even seen them at the Canton Fair. So uh, I mean, those are ten thousand dollar booths, and they had a they had relationships with several suppliers. Uh, if you think about it, retailers are kind of trading companies. They're not selling their own products typically. They're just selling other brands, and um, so now tra- these trading companies are kind of selling unbranded products. But uh, with the approach that I suggest that everybody takes, you want to get and have that relationship you want to have the leverage and you want to customize and um, and then make more products within that and build out your brand. So a trading company is not going to be the way to go for most of you. But um, like I said, that if you're going with a bundle or you're you're somehow in my rare scenario where I I somehow was able to find all the perfect parts from different places of the world and put it together and make my own product. but yeah, so I hope that this explains that. And um, now I guess I will show you guys how you can see if a company is a trading company versus if it is a manufacturer. And so I'll show you how to do that on Alibaba in the next video. So I just wanna add on to this. You don't need to use a trading company to make a bundle or assemble multiple parts because there's a great network of manufacturers in China and the manufacturer almost always knows somebody who can do what you're looking for. But you gotta make sure that when they're adding on those extra pieces, that uh, you get the actual fair price for that, okay? So I had times where I was sourcing my hippie glasses originally. I wanted to get a nice microfiber cloth and like a case for it. And he's like, yeah, we could do that. He wanted like 45 cents each for it. And I was like, well, I could get it on Alibaba for 13 cents. And then he was like, okay, we'll do 13 cents. So you just gotta be careful. And the only reason why I did that assembly in the United States was because the lenses were only available in Europe. There's only one factory in the world that made it. And I just couldn't do it from China. Otherwise I would have had it done and assembled in China, but that was a really rare case. So 99% of the time you're gonna be using a manufacturer in China and a trading company is very rare to use, but it just so happened that it worked out for my case.